Hello Aries, uh, this is Sue from Sweet Love Tarot. Uh, I had to stop uh, previously due to a distraction, but I, um, I didn't want to uh, redraw the cards because um, this was uh, not looking too bad uh, for you. <laughs> I'd hate to, <laughs> I hate to um, pull a different outcome uh, just based on the fact that I got to, had a distraction at any rate. Um, this is a, a general reading um, for Aries, second half of June, um, and th it as follows. Uh, your current energy, uh, the Fool. Um, with the Fool as your current energy, you have endless possibilities. You, um, this is like a new beginning. Uh, you can choose your direction and go any way that you please uh, with, um, with this as your your current energy. There's an innocence and a, and a freedom with um, with the fool. Um, and now this card indicates how people see you. And now here's this is the three of wands in reverse. Um, so this indicates a lack of foresight. N you know, um, no long-term planning here. Um, basically being um, just stopped or delayed uh, uh, dealing with obstacles but this is just the energy of what people perceive when they're looking at you it might not be the truth it might not be the case but it's the perception of how people are seeing you currently um, what blocks you is the seven of cups now uh, a lot of people will say this means you have a lot of options uh, that's only one meaning um, and and I don't I don't even think it's the main meaning, um, but to me, um, as far as this being a block, um, it indicates uh, being unrealistic, uh, really fantasizing and not looking at things as they actually are. Uh, you may um, you may be looking at uh, like uh, a fairy tale outcome. Um, when that might not be the case. It, it's, it's an illusion. It's wishful thinking. And that can be a block uh, because it doesn't really allow you to deal with, um, you know, possible downsides because you just don't even consider them. Um, so what you need to do to overcome those blocks is uh, I've got the star card here in reverse. And this is... Um, discouragement and despair um, and really not believing in yourself and so clearly this is something you need to overcome um, it's it seems like the polar opposite of the seven of cups in this case you know wishful thinking um, but I think deep down you probably know uh, that you have to look at things realistically um, and that might make you uh, become depressed or uh, not really having faith in what you're trying to accomplish. So that's something you need to overcome. You need to realize your, your own possibilities. Um, and as far as what you need to do to achieve your goals, I've got here the Hierophant in the upright. Now, um, maybe there's a... Uh, someone you know that you go to for advice um, a traditional type of person like maybe a your preacher or um, or a counselor of some kind an older person that who who you trust and um, go to for advice on a regular basis um, what else can I say Yeah, I. Th that's pretty much it. I, I'm. Uh, I think that you, what you need to do to to um, to achieve your goals is look, look to someone else for advice at this time. As you go forward, uh, it probably would be very helpful to you. Um, and what lessons you need? I've got the Empress here. Now the Empress is. Um, womanhood, um, creativity, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be womanhood, but what I'm saying is 
it's the creative spirit and you know women create life so okay it's a combination but <laughs> but um, in this case as far as what lessons that you need um, I think you need to um, look to your higher power and uh, realize that uh, you you have um, this natural beauty within you um, to create what you really want um, you have to have faith in that and and tap into it because you certainly um, have that this mean this this is showing fertile imagination for creating ideas um, and uh, that's something maybe you need to take on and as a final outcome uh, I have got here the ace of cups in the upright and that's um, new beginnings uh, creation so apparently according to this you do very well uh, overcome or take on this lesson uh, of creativity and new beginnings and you know uh, fertile ideas um, so I, that's to me that's a very positive outcome um, and it has to do with not only creativity but love and compassion and uh, an emotion um, I don't know what final goal uh, this uh, takes you towards but um, for those of you who this reading uh, resonates for uh, you will know what this means and I want to pull uh, an advice card from the Work Your Light Oracle deck. Get grounded. That's funny. We just pulled that one in the last reading. Um, get grounded. So this is telling me that you need to um, realize that you are connected uh, to the universe um, with nature. Uh, you uh, to 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 help you draw on the energy. Uh, you just need to get grounded. So. My favorite way of doing that is to go outside with no shoes and socks on <laughs> and stomp around in the lawn. <laughs> and Ash, uh, my grandson, um, he's joining me for part of these readings, but um, he, uh, he advocates this as well. Take your shoes off and get outside. So uh, I hope that's helpful to you in some way. Um, uh, join me next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.